Hey, big family, it's Jonathan with the Soundstage. We're here inside Jianghu Bar, one of the many Hu Tong, or alleyway bars that you can find in Beijing, all of which have their own diverse music, style, friends, drinking, and vibes. You know, it's not only international A-list acts like the Pet Shop Boys who've been coming through Beijing lately trying to stake a claim in the Middle Kingdom. You also have more independent acts from all over the world. That's why we're going to see Sophie Ko. She's a Malay Chinese from her native Australia who's been making waves over there. And now she's here on a tour trying to reconnect with the home of her ancestors and play some great music along the way. You know, sometimes I think maybe I could be a famous singer in China. I'm just a guy living in Beijing. Hey, where are you going? I was pretty sheltered as a child and my, I was told what to do and I would do it. I would ace all my exams and play piano every day and I, I just knew that I needed to break free from, from that all uh, and sort of find myself a little bit. I remember being in the empty house in uh, Melbourne. Uh, my parents had, had not moved the furniture in yet and there was this amazing echo in my bedroom that I was about to live in for the first time. And I took out the guitar that I bought at a garage sale for $40 and decided to strum a few chords. Um, and it just came out very naturally and, and, and this, the process of songwriting for me is still very, very organic and very instant actually. Just me playing an instrument and singing at the same time and melod melodies and um, bass harmonies go together so some people write uh, with lyrics first or melody first I, I, I can't fathom that I just can't understand how that can happen the, the different cultures that I've been uh, immersed in over my life from moving from country to country has really uh, I guess influenced the music that I listen to uh, and also the people that I meet have have influenced me throughout my life uh, different styles of music and different types of people um, for example uh, sort of singing Maori and Samoan songs at school and uh, Crowder House in New Zealand and my parents sing karaoke at home, sort of uh, traditional, very uh, traditional Cantonese or Mandarin songs on the karaoke machine. I've never been to China, and neither has um, these guys. Um, and Tim's never been to Asia, so for him, it's been a bit of a culture shock, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess with China, it's the, the highs are very high. The amazing things are amazing, and the lows are just strange and and very low. And um, and it's just been ups and downs and um, getting around has been a bit of a challenge being the heat wave it's been 40 degrees while got turning up to train stations every day and 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 uh, doing a show and then getting up early and taking another train um, that's been very testing we're from Melbourne which is kind of a big music city in Australia um, but crowds in Melbourne are very uh well, yeah, they're very reserved. Like they, people listen to music, but they do it with their arms crossed, and they never dance, and they, you know, don't really get of, into the music. Mm. Yeah, lots of sitting back. So, so for this tour to have, you know, kind of people dance and sing and get involved for us has been really cool. That's been a real highlight for me. We've been on the on the road now, or the road, or the train. We've been on the train <laughs> now for uh, it's nearly three weeks. We've had a had a great time. Sort of started way down the south and have played in just about every city, well it feels like to us every city um, to get to Beijing and um, we've eaten lots of food, uh, awesome food, the shows have been great, the people have been awesome, um, yeah it couldn't be, I couldn't have wanted a, a better tour, we've had such a great time, um, yeah we, we love China It's it's and hopefully we'll be back, like uh, that's the plan, yeah. We want to get back here as, uh, you know, six months and, and tackle it again. Uh, we've just been so overwhelmed by the reception of the locals that we've been playing to. They've been mainly local Chinese kids that we've been they've been coming to the shows, and they really just absorbed our brand of pop. And um, they've been coming up to us saying that we've never heard this before. How come we don't hear this in China? Uh, why don't bands like you come here? So I'm I'm just so ecstatic that that they love what we do. So we will come back.